Hey friends, welcome to Stocks and Crypto Plays. I'm talking about TurboCoin. I've been keeping a close eye on it. We're in a con, uh, what do they call it? Con consolidating mode? I don't know. I forgot what they call that. Uh, it's late at night. <laughs> I'm ready for bed, but I'm doing a late night video. Um, we are basically at a little over half a penny, 0.0649-ish. Perfect range to be in on day five. We're in day five of the 90 day challenge, 1K to 10K challenge. Okay, so that's a little update on that. Turbo coins looking awesome. You're not, if you're shorting turbo right now, you're going to get wrecked. Okay, so you don't want to be shorting turbo. Some some platforms you can short turbo. You definitely don't want to be shorting turbo because it's about, it's about to get over 0 0.8 probably to, by tomorrow. Okay, and tomorrow I mean like sunrise, like. Friday. All right, guys. Um, but I want to share something with you. My friend bought Turbo. He joined the 1K to 10K challenge. He bought Turbo on Uphold, U-P-H-O-L-D. And then um, on day five, they basically sold his Turbo without asking him all of it. Uh, 1K worth of Turbo. I think it was like 130,000 Turbo coins. They sold all his Turbo without asking him. And then they also sold 313 of his XRP coins without ex asking him. And the whole reason was <coughs> because he made this purchase successfully. And it went through and everything according to Uphold. But then they came back and they said, oh, your bank uh, didn't accept the transaction. Um, he had more than enough money, <coughs> more than enough money in there to cover it. It was not a money issue at all. Definitely more than enough money to cover it many times over, right? So it wasn't, it wasn't that there wasn't the money in there. He had the money in there, but they say the bank denied it or whatever. And he's used this bank before. It's BMO Harris, okay? He's used this bank before on uphold multiple times to buy crypto. And, you know, yeah, it was a bigger purchase. It wasn't a huge purchase. It was bigger than his normal purchases, probably. He bought $1,000 all at one time. So what? It's not a lot. Uphold, ac Uphold accepted the transaction. And then they came back and they said, well, you know, we do the transaction. Right away, we put the coins in your account immediately. And we're basically issuing it to you as a credit. And if nothing, if it doesn't go through the bank, then we need our money back. Yeah, that's understandable. But you guys messed it up. He didn't mess it up. He did everything he was supposed to be. The money is in his account. What went wrong? It wasn't his fault. So... Basically, this is kind of like a red alert for Uphold. I use Uphold a lot as well. It's like you have to be real careful now, I guess, with Uphold. Um, comment below. Has this happened to you before? Have they sold your coins without asking you? And not only that, here's like one of the worst parts. You know, Turbo's doing kind of like this, right? You don't want to sell when it's right here, right before it's about to go up, right? So he got forced into a sale right when it's like right here, when it's about to go up higher. Why couldn't they force his sale when it was up here and then it dips down here? And then, oh, you forced my sale? No problem, I'm going to buy back down here. No. They, it went up. Now we're in a little bit of a dip. And they forced the sale here. And now he doesn't even have the coins and the coins are going to be going back up. And here's the worst part, guys. They sold some of his XRP too. 313 coins. And they're like, well, we have to charge you a fee. I think he paid, had to pay like a $180 fee or something like that. Why? Because they said, well, your bank didn't process the transaction. So he's furious. He gets a hold of um, Uphold customer service. And he can only get them through email. He couldn't get anyone on the phone. He can't even find a phone number. I'm going to help him get a number <laughs> for the corporate. I'm going to get him a number for their corporate so he can actually talk to someone. They're based in the UK. Um, and hopefully he can get that fee removed and get his get this fixed. Like, what the heck's going on? The bank has to take some responsibility. Why would they cancel the transaction? BMO Harris. They have to take some responsibility. Uphold has to take some responsibility. You can't treat your customers like this. He's a great customer. You know, so it's frustrating to me because I'm recommending to him this coin he buys the coin and then he gets he gets shafted by uphold and i've been recommending uphold because i use uphold 
They should not treat their customers this way. I'm not happy about that. So I'll get him the number for the corporate and he's going to check, talk with them and try to get it worked out. But in the meantime, he doesn't have his turbo coins. He should have 130,000 turbo coins and this thing's about to boom. Now what is he going to do? He has to buy it like on Binance and he's already lost fees from Uphold. You know, he could buy it on Kraken or Binance, but now, you know, he's, he's starting over. We're already on day, day five now of the challenge, which you could still join on day five of the 1K to 10K challenge because we started at half a penny and we're at 0 0.065 ish. So yeah, we're up a little smidge, but we're going to be, we're going to be going up a lot. We're going to be doing a 10 X. Okay. So we're just getting started. So it's not really too late to get in, but for him, it's frustrating. And what do you guys think? Comment below. Have you had uphold do you dirty like this yourselves and force the sale of your coins because they said the, the transaction didn't process? And by the way, I, he sent me the screenshots. I put them here in this video so you can see the original transaction was completed. You can see the messages that he got from them. And you can see that, um, you know, they forced the sale of his XRP. They forced the sale of his turbo. And he had to pay like $180 fee, which was the forced sale of the XRP. They used the XRP to charge him a fee a massive fee that's a massive fee why would they do that to him that's very disturbing <coughs> that's why i want turbo listed on robin hood i trust robin hood the most that's why i want turbo listed on robin hood um and the fact that it's on binance that's a good thing too but I, i'm just not a huge binance guy because i live in the united states you know binance is more of an overseas thing um and i know i know upholds from the uk but I'm just not huge on Binance. I know it is a major tier one exchange, but I do use Binance. But I like Robinhood the best because Robinhood has the best customer service. Literally, you can get a person on text support, immediate text, immediate uh, chat, and they have a phone line. You can talk to a human right away. It's no problem. They have the best customer service, Robinhood, and I trust them the most. I want Turbo on Robinhood. All right, guys, comment below. Has this happened to you? What do you think about it all? What do you feel about Turbo? Um... We're still in this 1K to 10K challenge. I am very excited about it. And hopefully my friend can get back in very soon before this thing pumps. I don't think he has much time because I'm watching the charts and, you know, it's getting ready to do its thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then how frustrating that would that be if you had 130,000 uh, turbo coins and the thing pops off and gets up to 0 .0, 0 .08, 0 .085, 0 .09. And you're like, I had the coins, they forced the sale. Like, uh. And you're missing out on XRP coins, too. I just want to know what you guys think about it. Hit like, subscribe, and notification. Share the video with a friend. Talk to you soon. Have a great day.